Hi, I'm David with Make, and today the Raspberry Pi Foundation shocked nearly everyone, announcing the $5 Raspberry Pi Zero. That's right, this board costs only $5. Let's check out Zero, cover its specs, and talk about how to get started with this new board from the Pi Foundation. The first thing you'll notice about Zero is that it's much smaller than any of the previous Raspberry Pi boards. It's 30 millimeters by 65 millimeters, and it's only six millimeters tall. Here's how they did it. Go under the ethernet port and the 3.5 millimeter TRRS connector. The 40 pin headers for GPIO are unpopulated, but a quick soldering session with a 40 by two header will solve that. The CSI and DSI ribbon connectors used by the official Pi camera and display are also absent from the new design. HDMI is shrunken from its standard size to HDMI mini, meaning you'll want to get a mini to standard HDMI adapter if you're planning to use a video output. Go on are the USB-A ports, replaced by a pair of USB micro ports, one to provide power to the Pi and the other supporting USB on the go. These hardware changes may make the Zero seem pretty spartan, but it's still got plenty of power. In fact, Pi Zero uses the same application processor as the Raspberry Pi B. However, the CPU clock speed on Zero is bumped up to 1 GHz from 750 MHz, which should help with performance. And 512 MB of RAM should be ample for most applications and single-threaded demands. The Pi Foundation estimates the Zero is about 40 to 60% faster than the original Pi, though it does lack the multi-core processing found in Raspberry Pi 2, released earlier this year. Now that there's a $5 Pi, how do you think it's going to affect the single board computer market? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to come back on Tuesday when we're going to do something a little bit different. Caleb's going to take us on a tour of the incredible City Museum in St. Louis. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel, or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.